About 15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New York Jets and the Detroit Lions. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. The New York set to take the field. Here's Harris on first and ten. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. To throw on second down. Harris over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And the quick slant gets exactly 10, and by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, Harris. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Well, this is a new concept. It's third down, but they've got the punt unit on. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. On first and 10, Kelly. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Throwing again on second down. Kelly. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Flushed out right. 20, 
And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Harris looking to throw on second down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. He decided to run a hitch round. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk, and we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. A try here for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. To throw is Kelly. Now they go screen. It's complete. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. And what is going on here? I've got third down. Screen shows third down, but they've got the punt team out there. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. They find some open field here. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point, the run even better. Looks like they went for the combo play there. A nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play. Going for the big shot on that one unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Harris. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, they obviously red man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, and broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Well, this is a new concept. It's third down, but they've got the punt unit on. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Time for another look at this Lions offense. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Touchdown. A great effort there. 39 yards. And the Lions are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Take it in at the three. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. To throw is Harris. Throwing to start the drive. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Looking to throw, Harris. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. These two teams all tied after one. now to throw on second down and he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line this has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective nice completion there keeps the sticks moving now Harris on first down over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left, and he's in! Touchdown, Jets! A nine-yard touchdown run, and the Jets have taken the lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it, because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football, but when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Kelly. 
He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Now a throw here, hold in. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. To throw again on second down, Kelly. Going right side here, and that's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first down, it's Kelly. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Kelly. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The New York set to take the field. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. Here's Harris throwing on first down. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. 
Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Harris on first and ten. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses happen their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Forced out to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. The well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And what is going on here? I've got third down. Screen shows third down, but they've got the punt team out there. He's been a busy man here this first half as he gets it away. The Lions offense set to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. On second and ten, Kelly looking left side and it's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 32 on the play. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now Kelly. He finds his man complete. That's Daniels. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So first and 10 now from the 30. A play fake. Now Kelly. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. So they still get the completion even though the blitz was on. But the blitz got there. Does that stay in the mind of the quarterback the next couple plays? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're planning for. Yeah, it's a little risk-reward, right? You're leaving your guys on an island back there in man coverage. But you take the chance that you get to the quarterback. And so he gets completion here. Congratulations. Keep coming at him, and hopefully it pays off by the end of the game that you're starting to get to him while still able to cover on the back end. Looking to throw again on second down. Kelly. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Lions have broken our tie as they take the lead. So they lob it up on the fade, and really a great play to go up and make that catch. It's something that takes some timing, and people work on it all the time. Even when they're just warming up, you know, that old pat and go when they're just warming up and throwing the football? A lot of the time it turns into that route exactly. A fade route, and this one turned into a touchdown.
kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The New York set to take the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Harris. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Harris. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Looking to throw. Harris over the middle, and it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw. Harris. And that is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. Defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Now a first down throw. Kelly going across the field. He finds Phillips. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Kelly to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I believe the Lion was there to recover it. Yes, they will indeed keep possession. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, 
Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. You can't block me. You can't block me. To throw, Kelly. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. It's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Here's Kelly. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Daniels. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Throwing again on second down. Kelly, he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I but, think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, 
you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Harris. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. They'll look to throw again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted, a loss of a full six yards. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. 53 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Well, this is a new concept. It's third down, but they've got the punt unit on. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. On second down and four, Kelly throwing middle, and it's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now Kelly. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. To throw again on second down. Kelly able to find his man, John Phillips. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Kelly to throw. 
He finds his man complete. It's Daniels. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That good for 22 and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Working with a second and four. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And they take a knee. teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, let's uh, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. To throw is Harris. Throwing to start the drive. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game, even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. And he'll go ahead and field this at the five. So here come the Lions now. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Throwing to start the drive. Kelly. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. 
And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Now this one now, not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game, and that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun. Harris and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Jets are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. A very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way. Now it's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one-score game, right? Touchdown, get two, and now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it, still down 10. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. the gun it's Kelly and the Jets pressure too much as down he goes it'll be a loss of seven on the sack and it brings up second an assortment of sacks in this game this one the product of a good jump and terrific effort moves quickly off the snap of the ball doesn't let up until he's in the backfield and impacting the quarterback To try again after the sack. Kelly. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame him? He finds his man complete. It's Daniels. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. 
tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. 85 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Well, this drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. His throw incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. From the gun, Kelly. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Jets set to take the field. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Back to throw. Harris steps away to his left. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Harris now on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. 
Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Back to throw again. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now Harris to throw on third down. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. From the 10-yard line, here's second and goal. Looking to throw, Harris. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. In the fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical another shot now for this lions offense and with the defense out of timeouts powerless to stop the clock this should just be a couple of kneel downs And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational.
Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on here to punt it away. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. the NFL right here on EA Sports. From South Florida, good night, everybody.